guys and welcome back to the Saints View, the channel for some of the content for a brand new video. One that's a little bit delayed and we have to apologise for that, that is because not a lot has actually been happening this week. So apologies for the lack of uploads but we are back and we're going to be looking ahead to Sandlin's week out in Austria as part of their sort of biggest part of the pre-season preparation so far. Now Ralph Hasenhutl and a 26-man squad have flown out to the Montefon region in Austria, which is sort of quite a mountainous area in Austria for some high quality training as you've seen from some of the pictures that have been released already. Quite cloudy, lots of mountains, it's I think quite high altitude, it's going to be hard conditioned but really good for the players as they sort of get back to fitness as for a lot of them is their first week back in pre-season. Now they'll be training for a week in Ralph Hasenhutl's homeland and then at the end of the week on Sunday they will be playing a friendly, the first friendly of our pre-season this year and that will be against Austrian Bundesliga side SCR Altac. A match preview for that will be coming out in the following days. That kicks off at 2pm British summer time and 3pm local time so stay tuned for that. Hopefully we'll get some sort of review out. Uh, I'm flying that day so it probably won't be me but we'll see what happens with that. But the big talking point about this whole week I guess is the squad that Ralph Hasen et al has announced for the week out in Austria. And it's not necessarily who's in it, it's more about who's not in it. Now just because it sort of makes sense, I'm going to read out the 26-man squad quickly. Angus Gunn, Alex McCarthy, Fraser Forster, Harry Lewis, Jan Valery, Cedric who returns from his loan at Inter, Mario Yoshida, Yannick Vestergaard, Jack Stevens, Jan Benrick, Wesley Hoyt, Christoph Clara, Ryan Bertram, Jake Vokins, Pierre-Emile Hoiberg, Oyo Romeo, James Will Prowse, Will Smallbone, Mohamed Elia Nusi, Josh Sims, Nathan Redmond, Shane Long, Danny Ings, Che Adams, Michael Oberfemi, and Dan Unlundulu. So, decent squad with a nice mix of youngsters and obviously first team players who have come back after having some sort of participation in internationals, notably Hoiberg, Redmond, and Ward Prowse. You've also got new signing Che Adams in there. Moussa Gineppo isn't in there yet. That's because he's still participating at, at the African Cup of Nations with Mali. As is Sofian Bufal with Morocco, but they were recently eliminated, so he'll be back soon. But some notable absentees. The first one for me was Stuart Armstrong. That is because, unfortunately, he's got food poisoning, so he hasn't been able to travel with the squad. But not really confirmed reasons for the following players are Austin, Lamina, Gallagher, Carrillo, Classy and young players as well, Reed, Slattery, Hesketh and McQueen. So, will they be off is the question. Why have they been kept out of this squad? Now the club did say that the players who've been left out will follow more personalised fitness regimes. So you could argue that they're not up to fitness levels that they need to be to be part of to be part of this training camp, which obviously we know Ralph Hasenhutl is going to be very high intensity. But the main one that sticks out for me is Mario Lamina, of course. You'd like to think he'd be a big part of our plans for the first team this season, but reports this week have come out saying that he's open to a move away from St Mary's. And to be fair, I can see him going. Before the transfer window even opened, we looked at who might be off and the fact that we'd probably have to sell to buy, um, as we usually do most summers. But it always seemed that Mario Lamina was probably the most valuable asset of a player who could go and that we're sort of prepared to let go. And obviously the fans don't want him to go. They think he's a fantastic player that under Ralph Hasenhutl, because obviously he was injured for the most part of Hasenhutl's time as manager, that we could have a really good player on our hands. I agree, but if we're getting off at 20 million, maybe it is time for him to look elsewhere as he hasn't really done a lot with his Saints career so far. And yes, you can argue that in the two years that he's been, he's had some very poor managers. But look, if we're getting offered good money, I think maybe we should think about letting him go. But it wasn't just Lamina that was left out. Austin was a big one as well. And he's recently been linked with Sheffield United. I think he will be off as well. We thought he'd be off. And, you know, when we looked at how he sort of waved the fans off uh, in the lap of appreciation after the Huddersfield game last day of the season, it definitely looked like he was off and I think for him it's probably a surprise that he's still at the football club. Club record signing Guido Carrillo who returned from his loan spell at Leganes hasn't been included either. That's looking likely that he'll be off. Don't know who to. Boca Juniors seem to be interested but it was always another one where it was sort of inevitable that he'll be moved on. And the other one that sort of stuck out to me was Sam Gallagher. That sort of highlighted the fact that he probably will be sold this window and that might happen in the next week or two. Apparently Wigan have put in a five million pound bid. Uh, Brentford are interested, Blackburn are interested, so we'll see what happens with that. But for me, yeah, you sort of speculate that these players that haven't been put in the squad are sort of vulnerable to being 
transferred or maybe loaned out. You know, you look at some of the younger players, Callum Slattery, he might be loaned out. We saw Josh Sims get a loan deal last year after two good seasons in the first team. Slattery made a breakthrough last season, so he might get that sort of championship loan deal. I hope not. I think he could play a decent part off the bench this season. But we've already seen two players go out on loan. Alfie Jones has gone to Gillingham and young goalkeeper Jack Rose has gone to Walsall today. So I think there will be players going out on loan in the next week or two. It was always a case this summer that we'd be getting rid of some deadwood as well as obviously bringing players in. Heisenhut always wanted to trim the squad and so we've obviously brought in Gineppo and Adams which is great. We look like we're going to be bringing in a couple more players but now is the time to start selling the deadwood. You know, players that have sort of fans have highlighted as ones that they'd like to see be sold like Wesley Hoyt, Jack Stevens. They've actually been included in this squad. Maybe you could argue that's because we're short of centre backs but you know we'll see who gets sold but at the moment it looks like there is a set list of players that are being put on the transfer list or the loan list and we may see them go in the next week or two thank you very much for watching guys what do you think about the absentees from this austria squad let us know in the comment section below should we be selling lamina should we be selling austin should we be selling these players that have been left out let us know also make sure you are subscribed if you're not already turn notifications on so you don't miss a thing for the rest of pre-season as we prepare for the new season and may also make sure you are following us on our socials so you don't miss a thing. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.